What's going on, YouTube? How's it going? I'm your host and officer, OneJulier398, and welcome back to another BTI Legends video. Hopefully you guys are ready for this one. I know it's been a while, but I'm trying to get a little bit back into it. But we got some big news coming in, and I felt it's very important to talk about it. But I'm going to break it down to each individual videos. So first things first, let's talk about the structure of the game moving forward. Now, in most recent years, or I should say the last nine years, they've had loose eras where they've talked about, you know, like, we've had, like, kind of this conceptual, like, oh, you know, like, this month we're going to be doing this, and maybe this month, or these two months we're going to be doing this era, you know, bringing in some characters from that era. You know, like, at one point in time they had an Old Republic era where they brought some of those characters in, and then they had... Where they brought in, like, the Profundity and brought in some of those, like, more uh, Rebel and Rogue One units, you know. So, they've had their, like, small interests of that. But now, they're making it official in how they are doing it moving forward in a more set structure. And that is using the Era model. So, with the Era model, each Era or, like, time frame that they're looking at is going to last about three months. And within each era, so for example, if they were to do like the Ahsoka TV show, which is kind of where we're at right now, uh, that would be the era, the three month time span where they're gonna bring it in. Now, they, this is kind of their model moving forward. Because obviously we've been doing the Ahsoka stuff for a while now because that's the Galactic Legend coming up. So, where we're at kind of right now is the era of the Ahsoka show, and then that's kind of divided into three episodes. Episode one has been just abnormally long, we'll call it, and we've had several marquees. But in the future, each episode that's going to last about four weeks is going to host a total of two marquee units each time. So about every two weeks, there's going to be a new character coming into the game that is based on that era. So, with that being said, are we going to fit this in now? Well, kind of. So like I said, we're kind of already in the middle of that Ahsoka era. So we're basically in episode two right now. Where... We are going to have two marquee units coming in in the next uh, couple weeks. We've already got a kit reveal for one, so woohoo. And then we have the other one that's probably going to be coming in the next couple weeks. Because essentially, this episode two is starting on Monday the 19th. Uh, 1 o'clock central time, uh, I think it's like 11 uh, west coast time, so if you're in the United States and you can do your math, uh, you can figure out what time it'll be starting for you, but normal update time will be when that starts. Now, who is going to be that first character? Well, it is none other than Hu Yang, and if you would like to see the kit reveal, uh, it is in the forums. I will also post a link to this and uh, the kit reveal in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. Uh, otherwise, there are other streamers who do a great job with kit reveals and whatnot. So definitely check them out as well. Because they will have some insight beyond what's just read. But Hu Yang is going to be that first character marquee we have in this episode. And the second one being, labeled right underneath the picture of Hu Yang, none other than General Sindula. So, we have our next two characters, and they're going to be coming in with that final batch of requirements. So, are those next two requ are those next requirements within that final batch going to be marquees? Well, they talk about it a little bit, and within this era model, the Ahsoka, because it's kind of starting in the middle of it, is going to be different. So we're essentially in that second episode right now. We have our two marquees, Hu Yang, General Sindula. Well, for the final episode, they're not going to give us any marquees. It's going to be the holiday season, and they want us to focus on Galactic Legend Ahsoka Tano. 
So instead of the two marquees, it's going to be a galactic legend that's coming out during that episode. So you don't need to worry about more marquees. We should be good according to what they have posted. Now obviously they can change their mind, but to our knowledge that is the case. So, now that begs up the question. What is going to be the first official era that we are going to see where it follows that actual one era, three episodes, six marquees? Well, that is going to be the era of the cavalry, which is where they're going to bring in the Bad Batch in their season three uh, outfits. They're more uh, colorized version of their armor where it's no longer that nice, uh, you know, Galactic Republic era clones, but rather the mercenary version of them where they're making a living, they're doing jobs for money in order to survive. So they're going to have the mercenary tag, which is actually going to be really cool. I'm excited to see how that plays out. But we'll be getting a new team of five. So the previous Bad Batch characters we have, which I still currently use, but have kind of really fallen off of the top end meta, like Kyber 1, Kyber 2, you're not really going to use them much. So... Uh, but for those of us in the lower Kyber, is still a good team. We're going to be getting five new characters of this. So five out of the six are going to be Bad Batch. I kind of almost want to assume that maybe the sixth one uh, might be their uh, pirate friend. But we will see here how that plays out. Maybe it's Asajj Ventress. You never know. But I'm excited for that. That's going to be our first three-month era with the six marquees. Five of them being for the Bad Batch. And then another one, who knows, uh, maybe they'll join Honda. We don't know. But then the final question becomes, okay, that's great. You know, we have marquees and whatnot figured out. But what about Galactic Legends and Conquest? Well, they address that here as well. So basically what they're saying is that they're not going to make it one for one where there's going to be a galactic legendary conquest within those eras that would be a lot that they're throwing out that'd be four gls a year not really what's going to happen they're going to bring out gls they're going to have characters for them that probably fit within those eras that have been used with that gl but they're not going to necessarily have a gl per era or make it so that way all eras revolve around GLs. Uh, it's just kind of their way of kind of getting more characters in. So we don't have to worry about like four Galactic Legends a year, you know, it's maybe one or two at most. And I'm sure some of those characters within the eras will have relevance to them, but they're not gonna be specifically tied in. And then kind of same with Conquest, they have their set lined up and this very first set is evidence of it because we're f we finish up Ezra, our next one starting next month in December and going in or November going into December and January. Uh, it's not going to be Bad Batch related. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen it yet, it is Dark Side Visions Ray. So it's going to be a lifter for Kylo Ren. That is also out with its kit. So if you want to check that out, once again, another link I'll leave in the description below. But uh, they're not going to connect the eras to the Conquest characters now. Could they potentially line up? Yeah. I mean, they kind of have their idea of what characters are going to want as Conquest characters. And so they're is a chance that you know what maybe they line up or bump one a little earlier to have it fill in just to kind of boost that era maybe but overall uh they're not going to tie it to the era it's going to be kind of whatever's coming out the pipeline is what they're going to run so but hey if you got any other questions hit me up because that's all i really got for the eras for the moment uh but we got plenty else to talk about we got new daily quest systems coming out. We got a new uh, reward system coming out for Galactic Challenges because they're not going to be a thing anymore. 
So if you want to hear a little bit about more of those, I'm going to be making videos here real shortly about them uh, before the day turns over. Because we got a couple days coming, so before this update really kicks in on Tuesday. So make sure if you want to listen to those, you check them out. I'll get them posted at some point in time. Appreciate you for being here and for watching, and I will catch you later.